So, Ty just wants to start talking. <laughs> no, and he, I do our introductions. Do introduction without without, without saying. Um, who just you just want me to say like, welcome to another episode of Elliot. Um, there you sorry. go. There you go. Like, welcome to another episode of Driving with Ty. Boom. That's it. That's all you need. That's it. <laughs> but they don't they don't get a chance to know who I am. Though. But it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Um, today I wanted to talk about what happens when you come across something that you think is valuable, but you don't have a lot of insight into it. What are some of the, the tips and tricks that we can share, things that we've, we've learned? Um, well, for me, I mean, if it's inexpensive, buy it, take it home, figure it out later. But when it's like a little costly, you think you want to just kind of walk away from it, do your research and maybe go back to it if it's still there. That's my two tips. That's what I do. Like, I pick it up. If it's like 50 cents, pick it up. Look at it at home. If it was a dud, you know, donate it or figure out someone else that you could give it to that way you really need it or use it um, if it's not if it's not valuable. Okay. So, what you said made sense. Um, I, I, I talked to, like, a buddy of mine, Phil, that does the uh, same work as us. Yes, that does make sense. Buy it figure it out, you know, and then go from there. For, for me, it's a it's a little bit different. My method, and actually I'm probably a little bit uh, more inefficient and more obvious, because I'll sit there and I'll, like, Google it, or I'll, like, e, like do, like, use the eBay app right uh-huh. then and there to, like, try to, like, do some research. Right. But past the initial, you know, I guess we have kind of two options. You just kind of, like, say, you know what? It's, it's three, it's four bucks. You're going to make a left. Yeah, you're going to make a left. Um... It's past, you know, three or four bucks, and um, whatever, you know, if if it, if it, you know, we mess it up, oh well, and we can just turn it in and go from there. So I think that's a, a pretty good um, option for me. Um, you know, I guess that's kind of two where you can go. Let's do some research now. But past that point, once you get home and you find that, yeah, you know. This is the item you purchased. You want to learn more about it. What are some other things that we can like share that we do, or some of the things that you do specifically about items to, to learn a little bit more about that particular category or, or family of items? Um, I do the same thing. I do the same thing you do. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> is that uh, in this, lady, this lady is just talking too much. Uh, I'm just muting the. We can just stay on, don't worry, just stay on this for a while. I'll let you know when we need to turn. Okay. Um, right. I do the same thing you do. Um, you know, just after you get it, you Google it, you do the research, and then you look at, I look at other listings um, that were successful uh, as well to kind of give me a, a roundabout of what's the price point, you know, how much you should expect, or that type of thing. Okay. That's cool. So, so I, I guess, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I, I guess, like, kind of like getting the lore or, or whatever, like, kind of like the, the background information. So, um, like, what I do is I normally go on YouTube. I also have, like, a couple of those, like, antique books that, you know, will tell you about things that are, like, older. Because, you know, after around, like, 70 years, like, 1970, like, I don't have a clue about this stuff. I don't know what that is. Because most of the stuff I haven't seen when I grew up. Right. So uh, that's those books are very helpful, and also YouTube is very helpful because you have a lot of people out there selling those things, or a lot of people that collect um, things that um, I found uh, very useful was um, uh, recently we, we picked up a whole uh, box of records for like I think it was three bucks, may have been five bucks, but I was looking through and I'm like, wow, I see like The Temptations, I see like Smokey Robinson, I'm like, wow, this is some really really good stuff. Like I remember as a kid, like having my older like aunts and uncles would play records and like i'm like oh this is super cool and as i got older you know i started off with my first media was cassettes mm-hmm. i don't know about yeah. you but for yeah. me it was cassettes. cassettes then it went to cds and now it's like mp3s or, or whatever they're doing now mp mp4 is a video i thought but, you know i think you may be right i don't know but uh I mean, that's the video the song. yeah that's true that's true mp4 yeah that's that's true so um YouTube was was very very helpful. Um, the one thing that I I was able to do with the records was understand like how to clean them because I looked at it and I'm like, well these records don't really look scratched, 
but I don't know how to clean records. I never had to clean records. I barely play records. So it was very interesting where I found that you could uh, clean records with wood glue. Really? Yes. It won't get sticky? It dries, and then you can just peel it off. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Well, it's vinyl, so it, okay. Yeah, it's wood glue. If you say so. <laughs> this, I saw the dude do it on YouTube. Okay. Um, another thing was a mixture of um, vinegar, like 50 parts vinegar and 50 parts um, rubbing alcohol. But I, I think it's like the clear kind. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then it was another one where somebody did like distilled water, rubbing alcohol, and like two drops of Dawn or something. And, and like, I don't know, Dawn is like this magic liquid that everyone is using it's to a, clean stuff. It's a great degreaser. Yeah, I, I, and I had... And it's not harsh. I mean, they put it on animals when they get in the oil slicks and stuff. Like, they rub the little ducks and stuff. <laughs> clean them up and get the oil off of them, you know? So it's not harmful, you know, but it's a, a very powerful uh, degreaser. So. That's a good point, good point. So we're going to make a, a write on uh, Oakley. Um, it's coming up. It's got a little bit. But, um... I guess to kind of recap, whenever you have like something new or, or you're trying to expand into a new area with like your, your business um, and you don't really have a, no- a lot of knowledge, um, I think one thing you can do like for Amazon, I mean for eBay at least, excuse me, um, is the idea of looking at old listings, like completed listings, right? And, like sold listings. Um, you can also like use YouTube. There are tons of books out there. I'll link a few in the description. And I think that pretty much covers it. Did I miss That's anything? It. No, you did not. Okay, cool. So thanks for watching another episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the, the comments field below. <laughs> um, also, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. Bye.